What is printed music and print rights? In most instances, the terms printed music or print rights are used in reference to sheet music. Sheet music is the printed music of a single song with notes, arrangement, lyrics, chords, and other annotations used by composers to communicate information about the piece of music. Anyone who has taken a music lesson can probably visualize this type of printed music. Horizontal lines under a series of clefs, dots, time signatures, and other symbols. It's the language every musician, from a symphony violinist to a first-year piano student, uses to read music. In the most literal sense, sheet music allows music to be transferred from musician to musician in a very efficient way. Folios are collections of sheet music for various songs. It is a term for multiple sheets of sheet music. An example of this would be a book of sheet music titled Billy Joel's Greatest Hits, which contains several different songs by the artist in the form of sheet music. A collection of printed sheet music for songs from different artists is called a mixed folio. A matching folio, on the other hand, is a collection of printed sheet music for a particular album, i.e. the folio matches the album. A personality folio is one that has the picture of the performing artist on it. Using the previous example, Billy Joel's greatest hits would be considered a personality folio. What is a print right? Recall that a copyright carries with it six exclusive rights. All of these apply to print rights. The rights to distribute the copyright and to display the copyright publicly are particularly relevant. Here is the exact terminology for those six rights, along with a common real-world example of exploitation for each as it relates to the print right. Number one, to reproduce the copyrighted work in copies or phonorecords. Example, reproduction of a work in the form of sheet music or lyric sheets. To prepare derivative works based upon the copyrighted work. Example, a conductor transcribing a piece from cello to piano. Number three, to distribute copies or phonorecords of the copyrighted work to the public by sale or other transfer of ownership or by rental, lease, or lending. Example, a band teacher scanning copies of a piece for his student choir. Number four, to perform the copyrighted work publicly. Example, a poet reciting the lyrics to a popular song at a public reading. Number five, to display the copyrighted work publicly. Example, printing the sheet music to a song and posting it in a public square. And number six, in the case of sound recordings, to perform the copyrighted work publicly by means of digital audio transmission. An example would not be applicable because this exclusive rights deals with sound recordings, not the underlying composition copyright. However, Note that the copyright involved is not the sound recording master copyright, but the underlying composition music and lyrics copyright. Therefore, print royalties are nearly always collected by music publishers on behalf of their songwriters. What is a print license? A print license is an agreement between a copyright owner, music publisher, and the user of the copyright. It grants permission to rearrange, display, and print the sheet music, notes, or lyrics of a song. Even the smallest usage requires a print license. A few more examples to provide some clarity about usage. If a person wants to print the lyrics to a copyrighted song on the inlet of their homemade CD, they are technically required by law to obtain a print license. If a person wants to post sheet music to a copyrighted song on a web page, they are technically required by law to obtain a print license. If Pepsi displays lyrics or music notes on soda cans, they too must obtain a print license. If a band director wants to rearrange a piece of sheet music to make it simpler for students or to adapt it for the stage, he needs to obtain a print license. 
In fact, theaters, both big and small, from Broadway to high school programs, pay a significant amount of money for the right to use the sheet music for a particular play or musical. For more information on how to obtain these rights, visit the American Association of Community Theater. Securing a print license. Only three major manufacturers of secular, non-religious, printed music exist in the United States. Hal Leonard, Alfred, and Music Sales. Other specialty sheet music publishers exist for niche genres such as classical or Christian contemporary music. Most of the time, securing a print license is relatively easy. In order to secure a print license, the licensee must reach out to the publisher directly and agree to terms. One must obtain a license for each song he or she intends to print. Unlike the royalties from mechanical licenses, the royalties from print licenses are not subject to any legal rate. In fact, they are not subject to any conditions at all. If a music publisher wants to refuse to allow the printing of lyrics to one of their songs, they have the legal right to do so. Likewise, they can charge any amount of money for such usage. For single song physical sheet music, non-digital, the industry standard is a 20% royalty of marked retail price. Given an average price of $5 per sheet music, the publisher receives about 99 cents from each purchase. For folios, royalties are usually 10 to 12.5% of marked retail price. Given an average folio price of $25, the publisher receives around $2.80 per sale. For a personality folio, an extra 5% of royalties are granted to the performing artist for use of his or her name and likeness, whether this is the songwriter of the music or not. For lyrics or music reprinted in books, the rate is approximately one cent per unit, with a $200 minimum attached. For greeting cards, the publisher will usually request 5 to 8% of wholesale. Reprints on clothing such as t-shirts usually run from 8 to 11%. Advertising usages, whether in newspapers, magazines, or billboards, normally pay a flat fee that can be $25,000 or more. Lyric reprints and physical albums are usually granted for free. All of these agreements happen on an individual basis between a potential user of the copyright and the copyright owner. All rates and terms can be negotiated separately. Digital print rights. Digital printing of music on websites has largely replaced the traditional printing of music on paper. For the most part, interested parties consider sheet music and lyrics on the internet to be a form of printed music and therefore an exploitation of print rights. Lyric websites are a significant source of revenue for music publishers. For allowing sites to reprint lyrics, music publishers often receive about 50% of the advertising revenue. Some companies offer downloadable sheet music for similar prices as physical sheet music. However, there are a few key differences in the types of agreements between these companies and publishers. Publishers typically request and receive half of the income from these sites, which is a marked jump from the 20% they receive for physically printed music. In addition, print licenses for digital printed music are almost always non-exclusive, unlike traditional print deals. This means a publisher can license the same rights to multiple websites at the same time. Thank you for watching. Let us know what your thoughts are on this in the comments. Hit the subscribe button, and we hope to see you next week in our new video.